morning it is a beautiful fireworky morning in the port orleans resort riverside beautiful we've got what does it today on gary is present and dressed i am ready this is the last of the homemade t-shirts you remember that you may remember this print some of you may have this print up in your house yep this is it and then i'm i'm back to like everyone else t-shirts mass manufactured by the masses <laughs> We are heading to Disney's Animal Kingdom, and Gary has a surprise in store. Yeah, you haven't said yet what it is. Do you want to know? Um, I think I should tell you. All right then. We are going to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge for the One Yama Safari. What? So, I've never done this before. You've never done this before. You've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. <laughs> um, and from what I gather, it's a private, well not necessarily private, but small small scale safari of the Savannah at Animal Kingdom Lodge, yeah. as well as a tasting menu at Gico. Oh, Like a specially you. like chef prepared one. So I haven't done this before. I just thought it'd be something new and different for us and to do. And Gico was where we had our like, special meal of the last holiday. Yeah, so hopefully it'll be different, but familiar. And we love Animal Kingdom Lodge as well. So yeah, that's why we're going to Animal Kingdom because- well, We love Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yes. And that's why we're going to Animal Kingdom because we're going to be close to just popping into the lodge. And they have giraffes there. They do have giraffes there. <laughs> so we're going to go and head to the, well I would say head to the bus. Head to the bus. You can actually check bus times on the My Disney Experience app. All you need to do is click on My Resort and then click on See Bus Times and then choose which uh, depot you're going from. We're going from the main building. And so it tells us that it's at 10.11, which is in 10 minutes time. Beautiful morning in the riverside. New arrival. I'm so jealous of them. We go home in two days. We're going to use the secret entrance today, Gary, because there's lines at the turnstiles. We're gonna head through the Rainforest Cafe. So if by any chance you haven't seen some of my older vlogs, if you haven't, you should. Um, we're going into the Rainforest Cafe to cut through the gift shop. Because when you go through there, they actually have uh, entrance to the park that's designed for guests coming out of the Rainforest Cafe. Um, but you're welcome to use it, and there's never a line, which is great. These tanks are so good. Oh, it's the frog that Andy stepped on. But it's got big <laughs> Back for his revenge. Thank you. We've got an 11.20 reservation at Tusker House. It's somewhere we've never been before and it's our character dining experience. So Gary's gonna be living his best life. Yeah. Um, it's a buffet and I've heard very good things. So looking forward to trying that. Uh, other than that, we've got a few fast passes on standby, but the chances are that once we've done Tusker House and had a little walk around, we'll probably be need to head over to Animal Kingdom Lodge to start the safari. 11.20 precisely and it also looks like there's storm clouds blowing in so we might have timed this very well It's a two person job when I'm holding times guides in a bag and he's vlogging They have a little bar here as well which is nice Help yourselves to some refreshing drinks Well not help yourself, pay for them but you know Who even knew this part of the park existed? Thank you. Oh wow. Whoa, beginning. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, it's buffet time. And it's huge. It is huge. Oh, straight away, picture of the sweets, because look at that. <laughs> that does look delicious. Okay, we've got bread service over here, salad, fruit, speciality salads by the looks of it. We've got samosas, tandoori, special mashed potato, chicken curry. I think it was like a kid's fruit station. Oh, this looks good. This looks real good. And the carvery as well. Wow. I got a little bit of everything. I got chicken curry, vegetable samosas, um, this couscous dish, roasted vegetables, green beans, uh, potato wedges, and there's like some, I think it's a type of cornbread, bread bread, and chicken nuggets. I got the vegetables, samosas. Samosa. I got the greens, the colored greens, the mac and cheese, and the little potato thing. Oh, nice. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Look at Daisy. fabulous. Oh my Amazing. gosh, look at that. The little scarf. Oh, you're slaying today. I love how you've got accessorized the outfit as well. It's very you. Love <laughs> I can see Nikki there. And Goofy is somewhere in there. <laughs> How's the food? Really nice food. The mac and cheese is lovely. I actually had to go and get some mac and cheese because it, I tasted some of Gary's and it was so good. And one of Goofy's um, helpers said that the mac and cheese is made fresh every day. That's why it tastes so nice. Yeah. Hi Goofy! How are you? Oh, it's nice to see you. <laughs> We've realised that Tusker House is definitely for kids. Yeah, more children. They've just handed out maracas. In fact, I'm having to shout for you to hear me. They hand out maracas to all the children, and the characters are like shaking them. It's like a giant rattlesnake and kids everywhere. Just yeah, them. so it's, it's quite loud. Um, and probably not what we were looking for in a, in a relaxing lunch, but it's fine. It's, it's, been, it's been a nice, it's a nice food. Um, it's just a bit loud for our taste, that's all. Yes, very good. It's like music as well. On the dessert table, they have a crazy array of different things. We've also been told very good things about the banana bread pudding with sauce, so let's give it a go. That's good. That's very good. So the strawberry sponge cake is really, really nice. Really sweet. Mm. And we've got the <coughs> strawberry and coconut or something. That was Tusker House and on an out of five scale, I'm probably going to go with a one or a two. The dining experience for me really wasn't enjoyable. Um, it was very, very loud. Um, the buffet, whilst it had a nice selection, it was all quite dry food, um, but it was tasty. So that's why I'd probably give it a two rather than a one, but I probably wouldn't go back. Gary? Oh, I wouldn't do it again. I'd give it a three, and um, that was just because the character meet greets were okay. Um, Donald missed us because Mickey was meeting us, so he missed us. So that then we got a photo at the end and felt really awkward because we were amongst other people's tables and everything. I yeah. don't like that. It's nice as it not was nice. It was very I mean, awkward. Well, Brogan went and she said she really loved it. So it might have just been the case that we had a bad. But it was so loud, but it was very very loud. And I, I was at the point at the end where I was like, I just want to pay and go. Like mm. I just want to get out. And because I have anxiety, like I kept twiddling my fingers and scratching my hands underneath the table and everything, which means that it was obviously not a pleasant experience. So, so um, it was what, it was what it was. It's, it was what it was. And it was also quite expensive. I think it's like six dollars a person. So we are hitting the big abort button on Animal Kingdom. <laughs> it's too close um, today. Uh, I was I was having a bit of an anxiety moment waiting in line for Festival Lion King after being in that restaurant and all that noise, uh, and then standing in the line waiting for Festival Lion King. I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. So uh, we're gonna head to Just Animal. Feel relieved as we're walking out. Heck yes. <laughs> I think it's just too close today. Like, it feels like the it's really, shiny. really, really thick. It's hot. Um, we're both exhausted from going to Horror Nights last night. 
Um, the adrenaline boost. Yeah. Drop. <laughs> this is the drop. So we're just thinking we're gonna go to Animal Kingdom Lodge early, chill out there in air conditioning, maybe get a drink or something, and just try and self care. Jungle juice. <laughs> I don't think they have jungle juice there, but they definitely have some like mocktails and stuff by the pool. Oh, good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Look after yourself. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Forever. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we left because now the heavens have opened. Bye, Animal Kingdom. Hello, Animal Kingdom Lodge. <laughs> Not the voice of God. The sign, she speaks the truth. <sighs> oh, that's better. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my Hello. new friend. <laughs> <laughs> Being very sleepy right now. We've been sat in the Victoria Falls bar whilst it's closed, just like having a little rest. And the air conditioning has brought our temperature back down, which is nice. And we think we might treat ourselves to a little drink by the pool or something. Or at least get a drink by the pool and then maybe bring it back up here. Yeah, it's nice in here. Yeah, or the quick service is funny. See, now coming out into that, it doesn't feel like it's slowly killing me. We've come back to our little patch because it was still too humid out there to sit. Yeah. Well, 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 Riverside. Well, well, Riverside, what are you talking about? They still exist. The Graham cookies. And also, it seems like every resort has slightly different pins. Like they have a range, but then they have yeah. different ones. Like I think every store has like the majority of the same stuff, but then I don't. Did they have this in Riverside? I don't think they do. No, uh, they, I think they had some of it. Mm. But you can definitely get some extra things in different places. That's the thing, I think the availability is different, mm. depending on the size of the shop. This is actually quite a big shop. Well, compared, to, I think Riverside's one's bigger than this, but no. I like the. The selection here is a much better one, like yeah, quality think, rather than quantity. Yeah, I think they've um, done a good job on this shop. This is enough. Up to these. It's 22.99. Mug. Big Animal Kingdom one. That's 22.99 as well. Cool, that's solid though. It's solid, but expensive. Um, suitcases. How much do you think this is, Gary? Little wheel on. 55? Uh, it's gonna be $159. It's <laughs> not a carry that's not a carry-on case, is it? It's way too big. I think it's a carry-on. So we can that's a weekend bag. We we conned weekend bag. It's nice though. I like the fact that the these move around everywhere. Mm. Got a fit Is that a rain jacket? How much is this? Five to six and That's fifty dollars, forty-nine ninety-nine. It's quite nice. Hmm. Well, that's nice. That is nice. I think I prefer it in the smaller. Hmm. The, 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 li the little one's fifty dollars. This one of the lobby. It's twenty-five. That's the... eighty dollars. I wouldn't pay eighty dollars for that, would you? Well, it's in a frame. It comes in its frame. Mm, regardless. That's twenty-five for that. So you're paying twenty-five dollars for the frame, essentially. I'd get that. Also, I think that them ones are they numbered? Um. No. No, they're just signed. <laughs> What have we learned today? If you like The Lion King, come on down to Animal Kingdom Lodge. <laughs> Collectible eggs in here. Yeah. 
approximately $160 a piece, if not more. I hope they run the Wanyama Safari in the rain. Don't bring a raincoat. I wish I'd thought about that. Oh, it's blue sky, she'll be fine. Unless the wind's blowing that way, in which case we're screwed. You can smell the fire from down there. Yeah. We are now going to check in at Juco for the Wanyama Safari and let the adventure begin. There it is. Hello. Hello. Hi. For the safari. We are here for the safari. Mm -hmm. I will just need each of you to initial and then sign for D on the bottom three lines. I'll be right back with another pin. Okay, okay. thanks. Just in case we get eaten by a giraffe. Disney's not liable. Yeah, them giraffes, they wild. <laughs> so in here, this is where you normally just gonna have some snacks and get to know the person next to you because you're all gonna be doing the safari together. So it's like a relaxer, um, relaxing room where you just relax before going out on your tour, okay? All right, awesome. So I have some snacks for you. You're going to grab a plate for me and a napkin. Over here I have some peanuts, um, granola. I have your bull roast, which is a mixer of lamb as well as uh, beef. Then we have your bread there. Then over here we have your dips for the bread. Uh, this is bona masala, a bit spicy. We have mango chutney, which is a bit sweet, uh, sweeter. Then we have the chilled one, the chilled one, which is hummus. Then we also have the cucumber rajita. So all of that we My name is We're now heading out to the trucks, but there's a lot of other people on the tour, so I don't want to talk too much. So I'll just show you stuff. <laughs> Is that the car? <laughs> there you go, just one at a time please. Sit wherever you like. So we'll come back to Disney and then do conservation and work with the animals. So what did we teach with them? So like I was saying before, mom and son, he is getting to that point where mom wants to be back with me and sit alone. That's um, Tala. Tala. One, another one I love dearly. Especially on the boys that will sleep next to Mana. So you have Opala, you have Okapi, which Okapis are endangered in the wild. You have the Rufo's Griffin vultures, which are critically. And then you'll see when we get to on Sunset, Sunset's only savanna that has both Jumbo and Kadani. So Jumbo's straight ahead, Kadani's a little bit more to the right. Oh, look at that rain coming. So it gets raining a little harder up ahead. You guys, do you need the upon tree set? Yeah. yeah. You should have some on the table. Can you call? Yeah. I would like let our driver it. know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, did you load any ponchos on? We have some guests that would like some ponchos, please. And we're safe. Go ahead. Gary. Uh, just a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, ponchos! <laughs> Let's have a look. Sorry. <laughs> Looking great. Feeling great. Feeling great. So good to know the Wanyama Safari still continues through the rain. But this is a bit extra. This is so funny. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Me. Why is that? <laughs> you got a nice picture of it, right? Hold on, it's gonna stop. So, this is a pregnant female right here. 
You're looking at the male breeders to our left, Domino. He was a dad to uh, the baby that you saw in the last of them. Um, zebra. Hold on. Hold on. We have now oh, coming up with Linus. <laughs> This is a really cool experience, like being able to like come out on the savannah that we've looked at so long. Mm. So, more pink projects. This is Jambo House now. Uh, we got pink bag pelicans. Jambo. It's there. Okay. And there's the water box. There's more pelicans. And there's a lobby that you guys all came oh, through. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys, <laughs> there's a little beast, you can see they still have their tags on their ears. We don't tag our animals, we just ear not them, so we clip their ears around, we have a number grid, and that's how we identify them. <laughs> this is Rory's uh, daughter, she turns to another one, right? yes, she's a ridiculous net pattern. Right. Here, let me give you my hand. Oh, Very happy. And that's sort of their barn where they come in. We don't encourage any bad behavior, so we don't let her touch the vehicle. We don't want anyone to get hurt for her. Get hurt. They are very powerful. <laughs> there's a rain. And thus concludes the Savannah tour. That was cool. How long were we out there for? There are two cows. Hour and a bit. Hour and a half. Then our flamingos. Thank you very much. Well, now we're having dinner at Jico. I <laughs> mean, are you sitting down on cold, wet shorts? <laughs> As am I. It's actually not the, the back, it's the thigh bit, the cold thigh near the top. That, yeah. thigh, that bit of the shorts that's freezing cold. Yeah. yeah. It's alright, we'll warm up in a bit, I'm sure. Thank you very much. Of course, you're welcome. Nice. What's the drink like? Lovely, really sweet. You can taste the banana underneath it. It like kicks in. It's one of those fruity drinks that disguises alcohol. So you just drink it. Oh yeah, you could just keep drinking that and then... <laughs> Five drinks later, you're under the table. I'll start with the dips. The white one is a cucumber raita with zug which is very much like a tzatziki cucumber yogurt with some spicy cilantro blend on top. Next to that is called Luma Masala, which is also a little spicy. Starts off sweet and ends up a little hot, so just careful on your dipping. Mm. Next to that is hummus with sun-dried tomatoes and olives. Mm. And then a mango tomatillo chutney with black sesame. Mm. The breads, the first soft one with the sesame beef on top is called Egyptian Batir Bread. Very pillow soft. The one next to that is flaxseed naan. Flaxseed really helps naan in the rising of the dough. The other one is called papadon. It's very much like a chip. On the board, there's a really nice goat's milk butter that goes really great on the soft two breads. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What we have here tonight, starting in the center of the plate, is our Chico salad. It's one of my favorite items. We're able to partner with the Land Pavilion over at Epcot, where they grow the hydroponic lettuces and vegetables. And about once a week they package in anything that's ready for consumption up to and send it over to us. So it's a little like a chef's toy box. We don't know what we're going to get, but it's a lot of fun to create something that's in theme with the restaurant and in season as well. So along with the lettuces, we have a little bit of shaved rainbow carrots, a, a pink lady apple, a little seasonal tomato. It's all sitting on a goat cheese spread and tossed with a honey balsamic vinaigrette. And then we have got spiced pumpkin seeds and grains of paradise, which is an African pepper corn. Wow. And then we have got our Tibbs and Brick. This is the pastry triangles. They're uh, pastry stuffed with portobello mushrooms, midnight moon goat cheese, little mascarpone and spinach, and they sit on curried apples. And then we have our clams mulatto. It's a traditional way of preparing clams, always with wine, uh, spinach, butternut squash, and peanuts. So enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you.
doesn't taste like meat. It doesn't taste like meat. It doesn't taste fishy. It doesn't taste like... Okay. <laughs> I've never had a clam before. And then we have our Jico mac and cheese. This has been on our menu since day one, and I always say if you Google Jico, a picture of the mac and cheese would come up. It's not an overly complicated sauce, but it is uh, just nice cheeses that we grind fresh as uh, Fontina, Provolone, Gruyere, and Asiago. And then we have our uh, beef short ribs. They are braised with a uh, tamarind and poblano, so there's a little bit of sweetness with them. The fried corn is next. Brian asked to me to barbecue, so when we go to a cookout, they go to a bry. We have an oak grill in the back that we roll the corn around and brush it with a little herb butter. Then we have our peri peri chicken. We brine it for five days, so it has a lot of robust flavors. Too busy taking a picture of that. <laughs> to look at them. Oh, look. In the middle is a milk oh, tart, sorry. and on the end is my favorite, which is a malva pudding. It's a soap sponge cake and amarillo cream liqueur with a sugar cookie canoe to bring luck and prosperity. Oh, and Thank you. <laughs> We've just finished the Wanyama Safari experience, including a Jiko dinner. We weren't really expecting to have like a full meal. Um, no, not like an actual Jico dinner. Like, I know that there was food included, so when we had like the snacks before we went out on the savannah, I was like, oh, this is nice. Um, and then I was talking to Gary, like, whilst we were out on the savannah, like, oh, should we go to Disney Springs to go di get dinner and stuff like that? And then one of the guests on the, on the savannah with us was like, uh, uh, no, they have like a full meal for us. And I was like, eh? So, <laughs> it was beautiful. It was really, really nice. And it was nice that it was like, it was a taster menu, I would describe it. It was a it little was, bit of everything. <laughs> Because it was like, it was a family style meal. And you said you're a little bit anxious about that. I was anxious because obviously in the UK we don't generally do the whole, you have all the different dishes and you take what you want. It's like, dinner's up, eat it, that yeah. sort of thing. Um, and I especially don't want to do that with a load of strangers. But, all the people were really, really lovely, saying really about lovely. where they were from, all the little adventures and stuff. Some they of them liked Disney. Some of them had never been to Disney World, that was amazing. A couple of birthdays in our little group as well, so that yep, was that great. Was nice. um, the food, so you got a starter main course well, and bread, dessert, bread service, and the little breads that they do in Sanaa, but a mini version of it. Yeah, and that that so that's the Gico bread selection, not the yeah. Sanaa oh, yeah. one's like flatbreads. It, oh, this okay. one was more of like uh, Papa Doms and that kind of stuff. But it's like, um, a, like a special bre bread service from around Africa. Yeah. I can't remember the price off the top of my head. I'll, if, I, if I'm watching this back and I'm doing the description stuff like that, I'll put some information below. Um, but I'm, if, if the price that I've got in mind is right, I think it's good value because of the 90 minutes we spent on the savannah, the snacks you get before, the service throughout, the, talk the fact that we the had beginning. the dinner, like we started the tour at 3.30, it's now half seven. seven. So um, I've also ordered a minivan to come and pick us up so we can get back to the resort because it's been hammering it's been as you've seen. It's, it's been raining quite a lot and we just want to be able to go straight to the We've building. got a rain mac. A poncho. What well, we did, my road on it. <laughs> and also, what we haven't mentioned is the fact that it includes the alcohol, the, yes, the wines yes. that go with each meal, each section of the food, each course. And they gave you like a little cocktail at the beginning and stuff. And then obviously we haven't mentioned and it, dessert. And it also included dessert the gratuity for the server as well. So yeah, it was, and dessert though, like all the little desserts you've got to try yeah, as well. Our minivans arriving. Amazing. So. Bottom line, really, really good. Nice experience, especially if you want to get up and close and personal with some giraffe and stuff like that. Um, just bring a raincoat in, case, in case. case in case it rains. They still they're still going to run the savannah portion, which is good. They're still going to run it, yeah. but we are still soaked, and we've been sat at dinner very, very wet. Everyone was so. <laughs> <laughs> Minivan one one nine. Oh, we got a big one. Hello again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once, you get, once you get used to that mini bag. <laughs> oh. 2019 Suburban uh -huh. Chevrolet. Okay. Yep. We have Grant again. We have Grant, the first, the first mini van driver we had. We managed to pick him up again. This is cool. You guys want to be dropped off at your building or at the lobby? The building would be great, please. Part to your place, right? Yes. Yes. You remember the name. Uh, yeah, the mere <laughs> fact that you know where it is, that is a sham. We have minivaned too often. 
<laughs> I, th I don't think three times classifies as too often. I mean, <laughs> the first time we booked it, it was a one-time <laughs> And here we are, we're we've the, got we're, again. We're the converted now. <laughs> the question is, did you guys budget for it? Oh, uh, please. No. No, no, it hasn't been too many times. Yeah. Teleportation. <laughs> now we're back at the room. <laughs> it's like we've got your own like Disney chauffeur with that yeah. service, isn't it? But the fact that we've used the same person twice, it's like, oh, Grog. <laughs> Our good old friend Grog. He knows where we are. <laughs> And he did. He was like, it's all right here, isn't it? It is. <laughs> um, what did you think of the seat warmer? Oh, yeah. I was loving oh, that. Yeah. Oh, it's cold in here. Oh, it's blooming cold in here. No, 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 no. You'll never hear us say that again in this vlog. Quote, it's really cold. <laughs> right, we're going to head down to the quick service to. Did she wash out my mug? I think she washed out my resort mug, you know. Oh, that was nice of her. Yeah, it was nice of her. Love Mei Ling. Um, we're gonna go and get some drinks. I'm gonna get a hot chocolate. I'm gonna go... Let me guess. Cherry Coke. No! Cup of tea. Tip. <laughs> it's one of our favourite things about uh, Gico. We tried some things we probably wouldn't have ever ordered. No. We had clams for the Did you clams. Have first time. Yeah, first time plans. Uh, I didn't like them. Was, they were quite vinegary. But they didn't taste like I thought they were going to. They were like quite chewy. Chewy, but they are chewy. I've heard they're chewy. But um, I thought it was going to be like eating like a slug or something. But, but the funny no, thing is, better than that. <laughs> nicer than um, escargot, like smells. You had that when I had that in France. I like I literally had a tiny little lick, and I was like, Ugh! Um, and also I instantly started thinking of actual snails. So. Because it looked like it was. Um, I was. I think I was a lot better than yeah. I thought I was. I, I literally just took it, put it in my mouth, and I was like, But the funny thing right. is, a lot of the people down our table for me. were older, and they've obviously tried it. They a were lot connoisseurs. They have, and they and, all and said they, it was great. They so. said they said they were great clams. So take their word for it. Great clams. Great um, <laughs> clams. <laughs> the other things on the menu were really nice. The salad that was in the appetizer was really nice. Uh, which had like the apple in it and it was made from ingredients on the land in Epcot. Uh, what about the um, Living with the Land toy box? Of oh, the vegetables. Vegetables from Living with the Land. That was lovely. Uh, were, there's all sorts. Like they had corn on the cob on the table. And there was uh, a dessert wine at the end that made all the flavours in the desserts just go. So, yeah, very, very good meal portion of that safari. I think the whole safari was great. It was great. And We've perked up now from where we were before. I'm definitely a lot more relaxed. Um, going on the safari in the rain was a bit of an experience. Uh, <laughs> everyone like standing up and like huddling into the middle, like, oh my God, trying to put these ponchos on. Trying not to slip over. <laughs> and like after the rain had stopped and everything, I was just like on, like sitting there and I just laughed. And Gary was like, what are you laughing at? And I was like, I'm just laughing at the scenario that we just had. Um, That's funny. Our tour guide. Right on. <laughs> very, very dude. Like, he was great. He was. Rory? He, Rory? Eddie. Eddie. He knew his stuff. He was a very good tour guide. Nothing against him at all. It's just that it was, it was quite funny that he said things that you see Americans saying in like television shows and stuff like that. And we were like, this is so cool. <laughs> also, there was something about him that reminded us of um, Brogan's boy, our friend Brogan's boyfriend, Benji. He was just very dude like. And so when he said like right on, we both looked at each other. But he wasn't like, saying that ironically, he was just saying right on, like yeah, and like, I was right like on. where are we? <laughs> right on. But yeah. Uh five out of five for the five out of five one Yama Safari. Safari. Mm hmm And we did it in the rain, so if you do it in the sun, it'd be great. Be even better. I thought these doors were automatic. <laughs> I always have to check for like electric shocks because I get electric shocks all the time. Shocking. Well, no, my older the first time I've gone into an aircon building in America and gone, could be warmer. <laughs> I really like this rain jacket. It's sixty dollars. I don't know if I need it. I like the colour. 
I like it a lot. It's very you because it's so subtle. It's not like Disney World. Maybe I'll check my bank account and then decide if I want it or not. <laughs> I've got three words for you. Treat my self. <laughs> I treated myself. I did what I always do. I'm treating other people. <laughs> not me. Uh, I think you still bought yourself a number of pins this holiday. Did I? I'm trying to decide. Remember, if you watched the earlier vlogs and if it's made the cut, I saw this my first visit pin. I do really like it. This isn't your first visit. But it's not my first visit. I know that's going to make it in. This is, right, this is only the stuff you see on camera. Imagine what else happens a lot. <laughs> Right, let me go to the sets. This is where I might change my mind. This is where he might spend a lot of money. So, I have the Coco pin set. Oh, what a surprise. It's not cheap. <laughs> How much is it? How much do you think it is? Five pins, I'm gonna what say. You say five dollars, I was like, what land do you live in? <laughs> uh, 35? 30. Oh, well that's alright then. And then this one. 30. Right? Oh, I'm over it. Treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I can, I can feel the money leaving me. <laughs> Get me some hot chocolate. What's that thing from Polo Express? Da, 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 da. Hot chocolate. The only thing I know from Polo Express is the belief song. Believe in what your heart is saying. You know, the Josh Groban song. I love Another it. one. I love it very much. I know what you're going to do. You're going to judge me. Usually I put in the milk first and stuff and do it all the wrong way. I know, I know. Why have one milk and you can have three? Triple the fun with three sugars too. <laughs> Sorry, Gary, I interrupted you throwing shade. What was oh, that? No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just living my best life. <laughs> As a Slytherin. As a Scorpio Slytherin. The most powerful, worst combination you can have. It's been a really fun afternoon. Yeah. The, the tour was fantastic. You know it's been a day of dishevelment when I've got one sock off and one on and just... Don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my hair is gone, my face is gone, everything's gone, apart from my new raincoat that I treated myself to. I bought some pins just now. Yeah, of course you did. The parks were considerably busier today than they were the last like, week that we were here. Beyond busy today. Like, a lot busier. Like, Splash Mountain was 120 minutes. And so was... Space Mountain and all the other main things were 90 minutes above and 45s and yeah. it was a bit of a culture shock because when we first arrived it was like easy street. <laughs> yeah, so um, hopefully that's a blip. <laughs> otherwise, yeah. otherwise uh, it's just a case of kind of play it by ear. Hopefully if we get, it's, it's quite early now, it's only about half eight, so if we get a nice rest we should be ready for the day tomorrow. So we will see you then. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, I suspect you're all, if, you, if you're on this day, chances are you've already done that. So thank you so much for subscribing. You're a lovely person. Um, and if you want links for all the information from today, like about the Wanyama Safari, about us two, all of that will be in the description box below. So please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my future. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.